Our objective is to learn about parts of the plant and their functions. In a garden, we observe different kinds of plants around us. We see some big trees with thick woody trunks and some bushy plants which are known as shrubs. We also see some small, delicate plants called herbs. A closer look at one plant shows the aerial shoot system which consists of the main stem, flowers and leaves. The stem is demarcated into nodes and internodes. The leaf arises at the node and generally has a stalk called the petiole. It has a flat, green, extended portion, the leaf blade that is interspersed with numerous veins of which the central conspicuous one is called the midrib. The stem bears leaves that are arranged in a specific manner so as to receive maximum sunlight. The stem also bears buds and flowers. The flowers help in reproduction and later get transformed into fruits. The root is the underground part of the plant. It is brownish in color and helps in anchoring the plant into the soil. The tap root system consists of a main root and its lateral branches. Roots absorb water and mineral salts from the soil. It continues upward into the aerial cylindrical part known as the stem, which helps to transport water from the roots to the leaves. The leaves absorb the incident sunlight and carbon dioxide from the air. Using this carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight, they synthesize food in the form of sugar molecules and release oxygen. The food is then transported by the stem to various parts of the plant and oxygen is evolved as a byproduct. Our objective is to learn about the various types of plants and then go on to learn about the functions of various parts of the plant. We see different kinds of plants around us. We observe big trees, climbers and small bushes. Some of these plants bear flowers and some do not have flowers. If we see a common plant like hibiscus, we see that it bears flowers, possesses leaves, a stem and roots. The root is a non-green part of a plant and it grows under the ground. It has many branches which spread in the soil and helps to anchor and give support to the plant. The most important function of the root is to absorb water and salts from the soil. The process of absorption happens through the root hair region. The stem is another important part of the plant and possesses two tubes which carry water and food respectively. The tube which carries water to the leaves is called the xylem and another tube that carries the prepared food to various parts of the plant is called the phloem. The stem provides support to leaves and flowers. The leaves are the most important part of the plant. They are green in color and they absorb sunlight to prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis. They are the only living things which can absorb carbon dioxide and use it to produce food. We also see many bright and colorful flowers on plants. There are many different varieties of flowers having various colors. Flowers after pollination from pollen tubes which travel through the style to reach the ovary and then the process of fertilization occurs. This produces seeds. The ovary also modifies to form the fruit. The plant has a shoot system that consists of leaves that help in preparing the food in the presence of sunlight and the stem that helps in transportation of water and food. Root system 
helps in anchoring the plant in the soil and in absorption of water and dissolved minerals. A root is a non-green part of the plant and it grows under the ground. It helps to anchor and give support to the plant. The most important function of the root is to absorb water and salts from the soil. The stem is another important part of the plant and possesses two tubes which carry water and food respectively. The stem provides support to leaves and flowers. The leaves are the most important part of the plant. They are green in color and they absorb sunlight to prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis. There are many different varieties of flowers having various colors. After pollination, the pollen tube grows through the style and shows fertilization. After this, the ovules develop to form the seeds and the ovary develops to form the fruit.